Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah dear viewers welcome back to the third and final segment of today's episode the 13th episode we are doing maths and on maths we are doing fraction decimal and percentages so far you have learned a lot of things about these three very important operations of maths and we have had some questions for our children and one of the children came up with a correct answer Rizan thank you Rizan Jazakallah for this beautiful answer we hope that there will be more children coming inshallah with their answers we uh, would uh, like to appreciate for your participations for you joining with us with all these answers now we will go on we to another we didn't finish number seven uh, we, we, were we doing seven? I, I was halfway through. Okay. On the then, seven... Because uh, number eight is for the children and okay. seven I, I was halfway okay through. Okay then, all right. We would like to uh, little be uh, uh, put light on, on the question number seven. And question uh, number eight was eight. for children. So yeah. we can see question number seven, seven. is which is bigger? Which is bigger? Four seventh or five ninths? Five ninth. That is the more. explanation and similar one number eight will be the for the children. So which is bigger? So as I said, I'll say again. So first method is better to make it common denominator. And the second one you can do as a decimals. And the third one you can do as a percentage. Thank you. We have to, I have to stop you. There's a call. Let's see who is on the line. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum um, I'm Rizan. I'm Rizan again. Yeah, Rizan. What's your answer? Yeah. Who, which question? I'm going to do number seven and number eight. So for number seven, the answer is um, 4 over 7. Well, the, uh, 7 is 4 over 7. Actually, we are doing question number well, 8. The answer, uh, you need to answer number 8. You need to answer question number 8. Have you got seven the question number 8 example. ready? Yeah, Can you speak up, please? 4 fifths. Okay. Question number 8, the answer is? 4 fifths. 4 fifths. 4 fifths. 4 fifths. Okay, which is bigger? Four fifths is bigger. Four fifths is the bigger. Rezan has yes, come bigger. up, mashallah, with answer again, and he's this done. is correct. Correct. Thank you, Rezan, for this correct answer. Uh, you're definitely, you're gonna be so approaching. Can to I ask your, which year uh, you are you uh, soon? Yes. Can I ask which year he is, is gone? Rezan, which year are you now? Um, I'm in year six. Rizan year six. Uh, Why year done? six? Because in year six, you will be really benefited if you carry on watching and uh, maybe the next one then because all the question that i designed that is according to the sets that you'll be uh, have a sin or you'll find that sort of questions in your paper one and uh, next one will be some kind of questions that you can have a paper two and three reasoning okay. keep watching thank you very much i would also like to <laughs> remind you of one thing that we uh, offered you of um, uh, giving you those questions if you uh, can email us uh, if you can email to Ikra Bangla, if you can call them, you can you have Ikra Bangla's number uh, or you can join us on uh, Facebook, then you can uh, text, uh, drop a text uh, message to my uh, Facebook page for the for requesting after on requesting uh, the questions for the questions then we will inshallah provide you those questions through your email. You, have, you must leave your email address uh, over there. Now let's go to question Next number nine. Is. Again, order of uh, those uh, fractions from smallest to largest. Can we see slide number three, please? Yes, on slide number three, you can see question number, number nine. nine. The teacher will work it out and you will have to answer question number ten. Question number is write the following numbers in order for from smallest to largest. From the smallest to largest, 5 eighth, 8 ninth, 2 sixths, 10 tenth, let me 10 over 10, 0 0.5, 75% and 0 0.8. Just look one thing, there are some tricky things that this is a mixture of fractions and percentages and decimals. So, you have to be, uh, be uh, smarter in these uh, things uh, and the teacher will uh, clarify our 
uh, Again, answer, uh, yeah. these questions with that the answer sort of, of these questions. questions in when China. you are looking all these numbers in the number sequence, you need to decide which is the best method. You're going to convert all of them as a decimals, or convert all of them as a percentage, or convert all of them as a fraction. So the first thing you have to decide which method you're going to go you to. Need to do. Fraction, decimal, or percentage. Yes, yeah. but <coughs> it depends on the questions. If you do which one is make it easy. And for this question is make it easy, <coughs> will be make a decimal number. Mm. But if you think that another question is which one will be quite easy and quick to make all fraction, then may all make all fractions. Okay. If you think no, is percentage is even better and quicker, make it percentage. If you think no, decimals is quite easy for this question, decimal. Mm -hmm. For ex uh, particular, this question is better to make it decimals. If you want to make it all fraction, then you need to think of that equivalent fraction, then you need to which one is smaller than bigger. It will take long time. You will get the right answer, but it will take long time. Timing is fact, as I mentioned. So for this one, 5 over 8 is you can get as a decimal 0 0.625, next one 0 0.89, next one 0 0.33, and 10 over 10 is 1. And 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 or 0 0.50, zero, the same thing. 75% 0 0.75 and 0 0.8 is 0 0.8 or 0 0.80, zero, same thing. It's okay. Now we can see that it's, the question is a smallest. The smallest one I can see 0 0.33. So 0 0.33 is the smallest one, which is the 2 over 6, the fraction. That is the smallest one. Then the biggest one I can see 10 over 10, which is 1. That is the biggest one. Mm -hmm. So now, once you can see the decimals, then you can easily decide which is the smallest one. Then you can put in the right order. So the first thing you have to decide which way you're going to go to. Go for Are it. Are you choosing decimals? Making, yeah. You have to convert all these numbers, all these uh, numbers to decimals. Then that will be uh, easier for you to work decide. out which one is the smallest. Then you'll continue with the bigger and the biggest at the end. Then, or you can go to percentage, or you can go to fractions. Fractions. But Whatever. it depends on the, as I said, looking at the question, sets of the number. Is the sets of number easy to make it fraction? Then make it fraction. Is easy to make it decimal? Make it decimal. If it is easy to make it percentage, make it percentage. For this particular question, making decimals is easy. But making percentage and making fraction is quite hard because you need to make three four five six seven seven of them as a fraction then you need to find with this seven of which one is the common denominator quite long time and harder okay but the teacher said the it's converting to decimal is the easiest way for this particular question now the question for is the for you at this moment we will go on to slide three again can we see slide three yes you can see on slide three, question number 10, this question is for you, question number 10. So don't try to do all questions because you will waste your time. Maybe you, you might not, you know, uh, they can do their own time because of time. You can do other time, no problem. Yeah. Question number 10, write the following numbers in order from largest to smallest, the opposite. Six over hundred, one fourth a quarter, 0 0.60 2 fifth or 2 over 5 3 tenth or 3 over 10 which one is the largest first then the second then 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 smallest let's last. see someone is on the line who is calling assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah um alaikum assalam it's, it's Rizan again Rizan oh you got interest in learning okay Tell us uh, the uh, question which you have got answer with. Yes, Rosa. I'm going to do number 10. Number 10? You've ten. done it already? Yeah, I'm done. I'm going to tell you. Uh, yeah. yeah, what is the answer? Um, first is 0 0.60. 0 0.60? Yes, 0 0.060. Then? Um, 0 0.40. 0 0.40. Then? 0 Three zero. Uh, speak zero up, please. So basically, the first yeah. number is zero point six zero. Yes. Then zero point 
four zero. Yes. yes, then. Then zero point three zero. Yes. Then. Then zero point zero six. Zero point zero six. Zero point two five. Zero point two five. So. Yes. Zero point. I mean, I mean. Do you know when I is this? Where the fourth number is zero point two five. Then zero point zero six. Yeah. Yeah. The last number is zero point zero six. Zero point zero six. The last one, smallest one. He's right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay then. Thank you very much, Ruzan. Keep watching and come up with more answers. Then you've got thirty. And you can try that. You miss out number uh, so two. Hey, you're and reaching you miss very out soon. number <laughs> two and four is one. If you can yes. try number two and four. Maybe, maybe, maybe we have to actually call you to uh, take the rewards. Or maybe we will send you the rewards. However, you can contact us anyway. So the teacher, he's, she's got the correct answer. Correct yeah? answer. Yeah. Okay. Jazakumullah. So I can see the children are um, getting interest in learning maths. A fraction is not that easy uh, topic and they uh, get uh, interest in it. That's why they are learning. They are answering the questions. Now question number... Nowadays our children, some of them are so smart. Okay. They are bright. They mm. are really, really smart. Even sometimes they come up with some kind of ideas. They are not thinking this idea is a phenomenal of maths but they are doing this so it, this way i can say mashallah most of our children are very smart yeah that, that's why there's a proverb in english the children are wiser than adults in some <laughs> respects <laughs> particularly when you tell them to use uh, the gadgets so smartphones and uh, something uh, new some innovations uh, technology they will be better than you however we will go to question number 11 and this question will be again uh, explained to you by our teacher. Question number 11 tells us that. Can we see the slide? Slide number 4, please. Yes, slide number 4. There are 2,500 pupils in a secondary school. Two-fifths of the pupils walk to school. 20% of the pupils cycle to school how many peoples neither walk nor cycle to school let me repeat there are 2500 peoples in a secondary school two-fifths of the peoples walk to school 20 percent of the peoples cycle to school how many peoples neither walk nor cycle to school teacher can you explain these questions to them children please okay so this is again there are three different way you can do it but the first, the best one to work it out, so you work out how many fractions as a fraction, what fraction is left. Whatever fraction is left, that should be not cycle or not walking. Then you can find out with the fractions of 2500. So this one is walking is a two fifth. Mm -hmm. It means the fraction is whole one is five. Okay. And from out of five, the two fifth of the children is walking, and then is a twenty percent is as a fraction is one fifth. Mm -hmm. So one fifth and two fifth make three fifth. So three fifth is all together is walking and cycle. Walking is a two fifth and cycle is one fifth. From the whole is one, so is left two fifth. So two fifth is neither is walking or cycle. So now I need to work at two fifth of two thousand five hundred. Okay. That means the two f over five multiplied by two thousand five hundred, and uh, two thousand five hundred divided by five will be five hundred multiplied by two. Answer is one thousand. So one thousand peoples neither walk or cycle. Jazakallah to clarify. The and this question. is one. And the next method you can take okay. away from the whole. You can take away two fifth is walking, then left is three fifth, then you take away one fifth, which is a uh, cycle, then left is a two fifth, then you can work out two fifth of um, 2500. Jazakallah. Even uh, you can go for another one is percentage. Mm, there's two another fifth, way, yeah? Yeah, okay. two fifth mm. is as a 40%, 40 percent, 
one fifth is a 20 percent so 40 percent 20 percent is 60 percent what is percent is left 40 percent so 40 percent of 2500 answer is 1000 so three different ways but which one the children are very confident so they need to do this method first it doesn't matter which one but if you are not confident in one method don't try it so you've seen that all these three um, operations are interlinked to each other fractions decimals and, and percentages. percentages you can use to work out a particular uh, question or uh, problem uh, by using any of these three methods let's see there's another call hello assalamu alaikum Wa alaikum as salam, it's Rizan again. Rizan, you're going to take all the rewards today. <laughs> okay, which questions are you going to answer now? Number 12. Oh, Rizan is clever, isn't he? Uh -huh. Yes, Rizan? Yes. Before we had actually put it forward, you're answering these questions, you've noted it down. Can, can, uh, can we? Okay. The yes, go ahead. Fifth, yes, what is the answer? The two fifth is of the women is. 1,120 and the one quarter of men. is 700 men. So, so I add them up and then Take and it. then it makes 1,820. Sorry. 1, and, then, and then I took away uh, I took away one thousand mm -hmm. one hundred and uh, uh, eight hundred. I mean, eight hundred and twenty. And then I got for the children mm -hmm. nine hundred and eighty children. Nine hundred eighty children. You're saying how many of them are children? And uh, what yeah, one I got nine hundred and eighty children. Eighty children. Well done. You did really well. But there is your method is absolutely fine. You got the right answer. But the way you work it out, it's take a bit, little bit longer and long and calculation. Is, is the answer correct? Answer is correct. So I can uh, award her yes, 10 points? Yes, of course. You, you got the right okay. answer. And if I can tell you an easy method, for the women, two-fifths is equivalent to 40%. Mm -hmm. Men is one quarter equivalent to 25%. So altogether is 65%. Take you from 100 percent, you left a 35 percent. So 35 percent over 2,800 answer is 980. It will take you less time and less calculation. But the way you did, absolutely perfect. If you feel confidence, carry on this way, no problem. So, Jazakum okay. Rizan for your beautiful um, response and um, for the participation as well. Well done. Yeah, so beautiful participant, actually, you have come up with that repeatedly and with enthusiasm. We want all the students, all children who are watching to be enthusiastic like Rizan. And there was another, uh, uh, there, there was another student uh, came with a, a correct answer a couple of um, weeks okay. ago. Uh, whose, whose name was uh, Tawheed. So we'll hope there are more students coming up with their uh, answers and then uh, they will uh, benefit by uh, practicing these uh, questions and also the uh, viewers who are watching and the children who are watching, they will be encouraged and motivated from these children. Um, my dear viewers, brothers and sisters who are watching today's show, we have come to uh, the end of the show today. But we will come to uh, you back again, inshallah, on another episode. Hopefully, we'll try to come to, uh, to you uh, next week, inshallah, with more uh, mass operations. And we will come uh, to you with science. And at one stage, we'll come uh, to you with English. And we will do all these tricky and all those complicated bits of the core subjects uh, which uh, will be on your GCSEs, English, Math and Science. Sometimes we will come to you with some kind of uh, social uh, problems which involve our learning uh, like we did at, at the first place. So there will be students coming uh, with us with their uh, achievements. There will be uh, parents come um, with us, uh, joining with us with their um, uh, uh, understanding and with their experiences. And the teachers and uh, parents, they are also invited. So if you're interested, you can call us, you can join us, you can uh, join us uh, through Facebook and let us know that, uh, of your interest to join our show, inshallah, at any stage, at any, any, any way, at any um, uh, 
you know your capacity mm -hmm. so we would like to give you a big thank you uh, for joining us today to uh, patiently mm -hmm. watching this show mm -hmm. and also would i'd like to say jazakallah to brother mahbusan for his effort and for his time mm, thank you. for us and uh, ikra bangla tv should also be appreciated for their uh, hiring the effort they're giving us this platform alhamdulillah we are coming to the end of the show no more today assalamu alaikum warahmatullah stay well jazakumullah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh